Hello, welcome to BioGreat TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of the United Republic of Tanzania With a population of about 60 million, the United Republic of Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. Tanzania borders Uganda to the north, Kenya to the northeast, as well as Comoro Islands and the Indian Ocean to the east. To its south are Mozambique and Malawi, Zambia to the southwest, with Rwanda, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. There are over a hundred distinct ethnic groups and tribes in Tanzania some of which are the Sukuma, the Nyamwezi, the Chaga, among others. And of course, there are many languages spoken in Tanzania. However, there is no language spoken natively by a majority of the population. The country maintains Swahili and English as its lingua francas, Swahili being the official national language. The Tanzanian population is dominated by Christians. However, it has some Muslim and animist minorities. Like a number of other African settlements, the Europeans took over Tanzania, but not without dealing with much resistance. Prior to this European disruption, Tanzania was regarded as home to some of the oldest human settlements going by archaeological evidence. The fossils found in this ancient land are over 2 million years old. The Bantu-speaking peoples, who dominate today's Tanzanian population, migrated to the area over 2,000 years ago. They engaged primarily in iron work at the time. They were initially under the German rule from 1880 to 1919 when the British took over. Led by anti-colonial activist, politician and political theorist Julius Nyerere, the Tanzanian people eventually gained their independence from Britain on the 9th of December 1961. The Republic of Tanzania was eventually formed by the Union of Tanganyika and Zanzibar in 1964. The name Tanzania was created from the names of the two states that got united to form the country. So, it is Tan from Tanganyika and Zan from Zanzibar with the suffix Ia. Tanganyika is derived from the Swahili words Tanga which means sail and Nyika, which means wilderness. Zanzibar, on the other hand, originates from Zenji, the name for a local people, meaning black, and the Arabic word bar, which means coasts. Tanzania is one of the countries with more than one capital. Dar es Salaam was its capital after independence in 1961, and being a coastal location, it was quite difficult for the average Tanzanian citizen to go there. So, the more central capital city is now Dodoma. Their government and politics function in a unitary presidential democratic republic where the president is both head of state and head of government in a multi-party system. The people of Tanzania will live to remember the Uganda-Tanzania War which they call Vita Via Kagera, as well as the Liberation War fought between Uganda and Tanzania from October 1978 to June 1979. It was primarily to overthrow Idi Amin, the Ugandan president at the time. The war came as a result of compromise of relations between Uganda and Tanzania when Amin overthrew President Milton Obote and seized power in 1971. The armed forces of Tanzania, called the Tanzania People's Defense Force TPDF, was set up in September 1964 and has been active in the country's defense. Within Tanzania's 26 states, 
There are some fascinating places to visit, some of which are the Mnemba Island, Serengeti National Park, Mafia Island, and Lake Manyara. Besides the country's wealth in forestry, agriculture, and wildlife, it is also abundantly rich in tanzanite, uranium, gold, diamond, iron, coal, and nickel. In 2019, the country's economy grew by 5.8%, reaching a GDP of $55.5 billion. This economic growth got Tanzania to the position of the second largest economy in East Africa, coming after Kenya. Tanzania's currency is the Tanzanian shilling. Social life in Tanzania is top-notch, with amazing festivals like the Swahili Cultural Festival, the Muzalendo Halisi Music Festival, and the Mwakakogwa Festival. The country's entertainment industry is also bubbly, with music giants such as Vanessa MD, Diamond Platinums, Harmonize, Lady JD, Professor J, and others. Talking about sports, Tanzanians still bask in the victory of its 1980 Summer Olympics when Philbert Bai and Suleiman Yambui won track and field medals. Football is also a popular sport in Tanzania, with the Tanzanian population in all of the two major clubs, Simba and Young Africans. Their main trading partners are China, with 20.7% of imports, Rwanda, with 18.7% of exports, as well as India, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the United States, and others. Like many other countries, they have been hit with the recent economic crisis, but the government is doing everything possible to put the economy back on track. Without a doubt, Tanzania is among the African countries worth visiting, owing to its rich culture, lovely people, and impressive tourist attractions. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.